Good afternoon. Workers crossing from mainland Spain to Gibraltar could be forced to endure 14-hour queues if the two sides cannot agree a post-Brexit deal, so a border town's mayor has warned. Juan Franco from La Linea said the failure of Spain and Gibraltar to reach an agreement could have devastating consequences on his city's economy. Since December 2020, a post-Brexit deal between the UK, Spain and the EU has allowed citizens of Gibraltar to remain part of the border-free Schengen area, amongst other EU agreements. As a result, Spanish border guards have allowed Gibraltar residents to enter and leave without stamping passports or using their 90-day travel limit. In return, over 15,000 workers from Spain, who make up more than half of the working population on the rock, have been allowed to enter Gibraltar with ease. But nearly four years on, a permanent agreement has not yet been reached. The situation has become all the more urgent as the European Union's new digital border system creeps closer to being implemented. Last year, Madrid and London came close to reaching a settlement but could not agree on the joint use of policing at Gibraltar's airport. European Union leaders are using a summit today to seek ways to make the bloc a more hostile destination for migrants and asylum seekers, following a recent surge in support for the extreme right, which has fermented opposition to foreigners. As the summit opens in Brussels, the 27 EU leaders are looking at plans to speed up initiatives to get unwanted migrants out of the bloc and process asylum applications far outside of their borders. The plan lays out rules for member countries to handle people trying to enter without authorization, from how to screen them to establish whether they qualify for protection to deporting them if they're not allowed to stay. It also sets out a mechanism for burden sharing, which has been rejected by both Hungary and Poland. The position of Spain, which takes in tens of thousands of African migrants who reach the Canary Islands, has underscored the scale of the EU's internal divisions. Even if Spain agrees to hasten the implementation of the 2026 plan, it is opposed to some of the other policies being trialled elsewhere. The government has approved the signing of an agreement with Portugal over the construction of the bridge over the Guadiana River between El Cotim and San Luca. This is one of the resolutions taken at the meeting of the Council of Ministers just under a week before the Portuguese-Spanish summit next Wednesday. At the same meeting, the construction of the international bridge between Spain and Portugal over the Severe River was also approved. And over the last few years, the trend of having dogs or cats instead of children has been on the rise. In the Malaga province, there are three times more pets than children under 10. And according to the College of Vets, they say there are 518,331 dogs, cats, ferrets and others against 154,220 children under 10. Malaga province continues to grow in population, though, with almost twice as many residents as 40 years ago, but mostly through the influx of foreigners. Now's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.